Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's that time again, time for me to take up a five or a six star, five star to rank five or a six star to rank two. All right, if you want to guess, feel free to pause the video, leave a comment below, and let me know who you think I took up. Now, bear in mind, I have Catalyst expiring in my overflow, so that would be a big hint if you know what catalyst I have in the overflow. All right. So without further ado, it, pause it. If you want to guess, it's coming. It's coming. It's going to be guillotine 2099. Now, if you saw what was in my overflow, you'll know why I chose to rank up a six star to rank two rather than a five star to rank five. Uh, the only five star that I had that I would have been tempted to take to rank five would have been my OG Vision. Even though I don't really use him, uh, I could see him being useful, uh, more useful than the other techs that I have that are rank four right now. Um, I have all of the really good ones that I wanted already at rank five. So um, also, if I had taken up a five star to rank five, it wouldn't have used all of the resources that I had in my overflow. But a six star rank two, that would use them up. All right, so uh, let me tell you a little bit of the history of me and Guillotine 2099. Uh, she was the first six star, first uh, featured that I got out of Cavalier Crystals. I was so happy to get her. Now this is before the Abyss dropped. And a lot of people were saying that she would be king in the abyss, much like Aegon is for Labyrinth of Legends. But when the abyss came out, we found out about the hit cap, you know, soft cap kind of a thing. And turned out she wasn't going to be that good. Not terrible, but Aegon still reigns supreme. So... That is why she's stayed at rank one all of this time, because she's worthy of a rank two, even a rank three. Uh, I did a video on her long time ago, and we talked a little bit about her abilities. But she is an awesome champion. You know, she's got the immunities. She doesn't really have a cap on that damage. Over 100 hit combo, she just keeps getting stronger. All right. She doesn't crit. So she's great for those situations where crit can get you in trouble, like an AQ cascading failure. Hate that with Corvus. All right. So take a look here. Look at what I have in my overflow. Look at those tier four uh, tech catalysts. Look at the T2 alpha. OK, we got a couple of them. Look, look again. More T4 class catalyst. I kind of uh, flipped it back up uh, so you guys could see it from the start. All right, so just to take a look at that, okay? So that was a lot of resources. See that T5 uh, basic there too? The T2 alphas, I'm going back over so you can see uh, in its entirety. So that was a lot of tech. Now I claimed it and they have disappeared. Now I don't have to worry about them uh, expiring. I was really close to having one start to expire. See, I don't like being that close. All right. So uh, before we get to the gameplay, uh, let's just take a look here. And just we're not going to go into her abilities or anything like that, but you'll at least be able to see her health at, you know, rank two here, uh, what her attributes look like at rank two. Um, you can compare it to the attributes that you have right now, maybe a rank five. Um, and uh, I believe I went over to her abilities see yeah so you can take a look at her abilities great champion great abilities okay um one of the things that i really like about her is that regen that she has she'll if she's low in health she will regen at the beginning of every fight where she's low uh that will save you items big time in alliance quest all right so let's head into a realm of legends and we're going to have two fights in Realm of Legends. Uh, but first, let's take a look at the synergies that I have active. 
mainly it's for more damage okay so this particular one here increases her degeneration potency you'll see that in action uh, and then for the most part i just added more attack uh, with the other synergies but while we're fighting make sure you look at the degen okay now she has pre-fight abilities i did not choose one here i just forgot um, but there's one that I would have chosen, which gives her a guaranteed crit after every 20 hit combo. OK, um, because she does not crit normally. So she is awesome for fighting Mr. Sinister or cascading failure, as I mentioned earlier uh, in Lion's Quest. Um, she just has a lot of different uh, applications because she does not crit so anytime a crit would get you in trouble you can use her uh, flow in alliance war is another one even though we don't see it too often right now um, but now take a look at her damage now keep in mind i'm running suicides so she is doing more damage you know her damage numbers are inflated but do you see the degen that's what she does instead of crit okay so that synergy with uh the guillotine that you saw um, adds to that damage. Okay, now I just went ahead and fired off her special three because why not? Uh, now, because I'm running suicides, I don't want to fire too many specials. And honestly, her specials on her special one, she has a guaranteed power drain. Don't need that here. Uh, and her special two will put a specter on them. So if they're healing, it'll reverse the healing. So she's great against Wolverine. Um, I did a video on her and i did go into realm of legends and fight wolverine with her so if you want to take a look at that just do a search on my channel for guillotine 2099 and you'll find that fight okay so i'm fighting winter soldier somewhat cautiously and if you're wondering why i keep doing the heavy attack if you look at the upper left hand corner that little yellow icon uh that's a combo meter uh protection so what that means right now is that i could get hit four times and i will keep my combo so that's why you see me doing the heavy attacks initially uh to build that up uh especially because of winter soldier he doesn't always fight normally like you would expect him to fight anywhere outside of realm of legends and there's been many a time where i've gotten caught by some surprise attack you know he was surprisingly passive at one time and then suddenly went aggressive so um i wanted to have a little bit of protection all right so right now we should be okay uh we have over 100 hits on our combo meter that's when you start seeing her damage really ramping up look at the degen look at her da damage and every hit of her combo meter after 100 just ramps her damage up and she will just keep going there's no cap okay so now i've got a special three the thing about her special three if your opponent is at five percent or lower it's a guaranteed kill now there are abilities that can change that like safeguard messes that up not a guaranteed kill i tested that out in my video all right so that's why you see me not firing it off now because what will happen is it'll be a guaranteed kill and i will start the next fight with 100 hits on my combo meter and remember i told you her damage really ramps up over 100 so you want to do that if you don't you're going to start all over again and it's really not a good time okay so you can see here, boom, insta-kill, okay? And I will start over at 100. Now, I would love to have her be able to carry over a combo without the special three uh, in another fashion, maybe like Aegon or something, but it is what it is, all right? So that fight went pretty smoothly, uh, not the, the fastest kill, all right. Now you see here, I went ahead and activated that. Uh, I didn't really utilize it a whole lot in the beginning. You'll notice that I was playing somewhat nervously. Okay. Because I've had this happen to me too often. 
okay? Before I could get the combo protection, I get hit. And that's it. You get tapped and your 100 combo that you started with is gone. And all oh, that thing just demoralizes you. So that's why you see me here trying to, you know, fire off the uh, heavies a lot. And you're going to see that combo protection in action. Okay, so I got 114 hits right here. And you can see here, I'm trying to play a little bit more passively than I normally do. And that usually gets me in trouble. But just look at the damage getting ramped up. Okay, and we will see what the hit counter actually is for this fight at the end. Okay, very different from the first fight. All right, I think it, it cut it in, in about half. Okay, so I fired off that special uh, three just because. All right, and look at that. I got smacked up but I still had my combo meter. And let me tell you, I was gritting my teeth as I was getting hit. I'm like, okay, stop, okay, stop hitting me. Okay, so you see I'm backing up a little bit because I was nervous, I had to recover from that, okay? And so I now have two hits that I can take. Um, and then here you go, boom, because I want to get that protection and you saw the protection in action. If I had gotten hit without that protection, we'd have gone back to zero and the fight would have just taken that much longer. Okay, very, very annoying. I, I wish it was a little bit uh, better than that, but we got the protection, and even though the combo meter says 155, we're not at 155. Now here, I kind of messed up, okay? I should not have fired my special three off right here, and the reason will become apparent later on. All right, at 160 hits on my combo, just look at the damage that's being done. I'm not gonna get to a special three again, okay? Uh, she's doing too much damage here, all right? So that's how I messed up, and it's really rough because that means I'm not gonna start the next fight with 100 hits, so it's gonna be that long ramp up. If I had saved my special three, then we would have been fine for the next fight, but that's fine. I'm sure there's a lot of gameplay uh, Guillotine 2099 out there already. Um, I watched a few of them, and it's been a long time, okay? Um, at least a year. And so that's going to do it, guys. That is it. Um, we'll go into here real quick so you can see the combo is gone. But that's going to do it. Uh, take care. Uh, you see I don't have any combo, and we started off, and look at the damage. Not very good anymore. And I was not about to do this fight uh, and ramp up again. All right, so take care. Uh, click like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.